Civil engineers conceive, design, build, supervise, operate, construct, and maintain infrastructure projects and systems in the public and private sector, including roads, buildings, airports, tunnels, dams, bridges, and systems for water supply and sewage treatment. Civil engineers generally work in a variety of locations and conditions. It is common for them to split their time between working in an office and working outdoors at construction sites so that they can monitor operations or solve problems on site. Civil engineers need a bachelor's degree. They typically need a graduate degree and a license for promotion to senior positions. They analyze long-range plans, survey reports, maps, and other data to plan and design projects, prepare cost estimates for materials, equipment, or labor to determine a project's economic feasibility, and manage the repair, maintenance, and replacement of public and private infrastructure. Civil engineers must have problem-solving skills, speaking skills, and decision-making skills. Being a civil engineer is rewarding in so many ways. One of the great things about my work as a civil engineer is that I am allowed to be an instrumental component in uh, delivering safe drinking water to customers in the greater Bay Area. Most people, when they think of civil engineers, they think of buildings and uh, bridges. And there are some civil engineers who actually do that type of work. Um, there, those are structural civil engineers. There, so you have structural civil engineers, you have geotechnical who deal with the soils, uh, you have uh, transportation engineers who design roadways. I am an environmental engineer, and so my work primarily revolves around water. I focus on the area of structures, so I'm actually now a structural engineer. A structural engineer is an engineer who designs buildings and other structures like roller coasters to support various loads, loads such as wind, rain, vehicles, and people. When I was a junior in high school, I had a teacher named Mr. Lawrence, and he was an aeronautical engineer at some point in his lifetime. I was trying to select between architecture and civil engineering. And he told me the difference was, well, an engineer makes buildings that stand. And what he really meant by that is that you know the science behind it. One class does not necessarily define how well you do in a particular subject. And oftentimes that is the case with math and science. A student should give math and science another shot because I think oftentimes they only get one shot. If you're someone who understands the importance of change and, and, and efficiency. Engineering is, is, is a profession that, that I think anyone should consider. To keep learning about civil engineers, read through the information below.